Welcome back to the 2018 Golf Industry Show here in San Antonio, brought to you by the GCS and GCSA TPI, brought to you by Lebanon Turf. For all of those golf course superintendents, members of the turf industry that couldn't make it to the show, we're going to try to bring much of the activities and discussions of the show to you via this venue. And the big topic of conversation, both you know, it, near and dear to my heart, and high on the list of accomplishments and activities going on with GCSA is the best management practice initiative. And joining me is a pal of mine working on the New York State BMP, Stacy Kingsbury of Kingsbury Consultant. Stacy, welcome to GCSA TV Live. Thank you, Frank. Good to see you up here. And good Excellent. to see you. And we just had a lovely dog conversation right before <laughs> you came. As an animal lover, I know you'd appreciate that. So take us through how the BMP projects, I could tell you too, how they evolved in, <laughs> evolved in New York to develop into this national template. So as you know, in New York, we started with a blank piece of paper. But once we decided our focus was purely on water quality, it made it pretty easy to decide what belonged in the document. And that's what we did. We, we set out a mission and we fulfilled it by putting together a full length book to describe what golf course superintendents needed to do to protect water quality specifically. Yeah. Now it's changed over time a little bit with the template, GCSAA realized that not every state needed to rewrite the whole book. You know, the, the information in some instances is the same. I That's mean, right. nitrogen is yeah. nitrogen, yeah. you know, wherever And BMP, you know, doing something you right in Texas is the same as doing something right if there's water to be protected. Right. So they developed a template to cover all the topics that you need to cover. Now, they expanded it beyond water quality a little bit to include things like uh, the emerging concern about pollinators. Right. And in the template, they also included energy and landscape. So they went a little beyond what we did, but now there's some basic information that, as you said, you know, it's going to be the same no matter what state you're in. Right, and it looks like what they did is uh, provide a more detailed approach to doing it, right? Golf superintendents um, that are embarking on this as a state are going to answer a number of questions that when we did it in New York, both the focus on water quality and our focus was to make it very general. The, the approach that the template's taking is much more detailed and I think that's good because it provides a real learning exercise for the superintendents doing it. It, you it say? does, right. And so our BMP statements were very general and the document supported all of that with all of the, our statements, I'm sorry, were very general and the text was detailed. Right. And the template has very detailed BMP statements. I haven't counted, but probably you're gonna end up with about 150 BMP huh. statements when you're done. Okay, so you did ours, and of course, we got you from doing it in Virginia. <laughs> right. You've been working on other projects. What are the key lessons you're learning from making your way through these BMPs? There are uh, quite a few. So one of the things is that very early on in the process, as soon as you're really thinking about doing it, you need to think about who needs to know what you're doing. So Your that, audience. Yeah, the, the audience plus you know the regulators in the state. And we got lucky in Virginia in particular that uh, the superintendent who was the lead already had these very established relationships. In New York, luckily, they started thinking early, well, we need to develop those relationships. So they got their foot in the door as we were starting. So I think, you know, and I'm now advising the state of Nebraska from the get-go, I said, identify who needs to know and start talking to them now, not when you're almost done. And that also, the audience also includes other superintendents in the state who aren't involved in the BMP committee. They need to know pretty early on, you need to get that buy-in, you need to keep telling them, this is what we're doing this is why we're doing it, mm -hmm. and this is how it benefits you. So how has the process changed in what we did in New York State to how it works in the template? We've talked about it already to a certain extent, that we were focused on water quality, but even in New York, we've expanded it to pollinators, right? right. We've added the pollinator component because of the concern. How else is it different? How has it evolved from maybe even what you did in Virginia to what's happening in the template? In many respects, it's still the same. So I want to cover that first. You still have to follow a draft, draft final, final process with reviews at each point and with different people reviewing the document that also gives the buy-in that you need. So in its broadest outlines, the process is the same. What's somewhat different is developing that first draft. 
Now, developing that first draft is at least 80% of the work of the project. I know. It's I so remember. hard. I know. <laughs> yes. I remember. <laughs> so that's where the GCSA really came in with these questions to help that first draft? It did, yeah. So there's a lot of information there. The superintendents still need to make a lot of decisions as far as what they want to cover, how much detail they want to cover. You've got those detailed BMP statements which are helpful, but then the superintendents will need to decide how much supporting information do we want. Do we want a book that can stand alone or do we want a book where it can say, here's information you need to know and here's a source to go and find it and we're not going to tell you all about it here. So, so the process, it, different. yeah, so, so but it, it, the process being the same, you, two times now you've mentioned once that relationships with regulators are important and the second that key people are reviewing the document, how vital do you think this, the success of the whole process is to having regulators get their eyes on it early? I think, well, I think it's just incredibly important, right? You know, uh, the regulators, you want them to believe that you're doing this not as just an exercise and the book is going to sit on a right. shelf. You right. want them to believe, and it should be this as well, that superintendents are doing this because it's the right thing to do, because they care, right. because they're going to read this information and start implementing it on their golf courses. And going through this process really, really helps, you know, and, Plus, you need to make the process very transparent for everybody. Right. So, you know, every, as you know, yes. <laughs> no matter how many comments you receive, you document everything. That's right. You document the responses yeah. to each comment on both the draft version and the draft final. So let's go back to the template for a second, because mm -hmm. it seems to me that w one of the goals that the GCSA had when they were developing it was, it sort of looks like a turbo tax approach <laughs> to doing this. I don't want to use it just sort of colloquially, but it looks like that sort of first draft that you know, we painstakingly went through, the GCSA has made an effort to make it easier. Um, is, is, is that process, I, I guess I lost my train of thought there, but is that process um, still, uh, I lost my train of thought. So, so say something okay. to save me from my lost train of thought. So it is a bit of that in that, I'll give you a, a for example. Please. Um, the irrigation chapter, has a lot of detail as far as uh, different sections that you can incorporate if that's what you want to do. Now, in some states, I think it's uh, going to be more important that you really talk about when you irrigate and how much you irrigate. So you might not need to have the level of detail that's in the template right now, so you might take you know, half of the sections and really focus on the latter half. For example, in a western state with drought, you're going to spend a lot of time like the best ways to conserve water in the That's state exactly and right. you know what are the regulatory considerations for for that in in the dry state like California I can't even imagine how long that section's going to be but That's exactly right you know, and you so can the, choose. That, yeah, and that's the personalized component right that's each state's component right. is the regulatory framework cuz as you said earlier generally BMPs or BMPs you know don't spray in the water <laughs> Maybe you should do some testing before you decide if you need an input of some sort. So that is the value of having those regulators engaged because they'll be able to tell you, yeah, that, re that regulation's on the books, but it doesn't really apply in these conditions. And we found that out uh, in New York as well. And I want to go back to the relationships with the regulators. Mm -hmm. You can't really speak to this. Maybe you can. The GCSA has the Grassroots Ambassador Program where they're training superintendents on how to interact with regulators on a regular, politicians on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. I think their goal is to have a superintendent for every congressional district, every senator at some point. That training of interacting with uh, regulators, we did it deftly, Peter did it deftly at Virginia. It, it can't be understated and that's why I keep going back to getting them involved early on. We would say it's critical. I, I would say it's definitely critical, and it pays off in the long run, too. So, as you know, I mean, we, when did we publish the New York book? Uh, two, three years? Yeah, 2014. Four year, no, four years ago. Oh, yeah, my goodness. We're in our fifth year. That's crazy. Anyway, so here it's been four years, and we had the 
New York regulator asked to come to our annual meeting, right. you know, years out from publication, and that's because he thought that the group was had done something important and was continuing to do something important, and that kind of relationship is going to pay off immeasurably, and that's what I think superintendents should be looking towards. You know, regulators aren't their enemies. Let's, you know, incorporate them into the process. Let's make friends with them. Let's make sure they know what we're doing and, and get their input. So let's go off book for a little bit. Okay. You've already been through this. Uh, you've done the template, I think, with one or two states already. I'm on my second one. Okay, you're on your second one. What have you learned? Wow, what have I learned? I mean, oh, just so general many, things, right? I mean, so you many, did it with us. Right. And I remember we talked a lot. We had to draft things and interact. It seems like there were periods of time when we talked a lot and periods of time while the work was being done, we didn't interact. Process is the same. They're probably, yeah, and I just keep learning and relearning. 80% of the work is developing a very solid first draft. And as we know, that yeah. solid first draft is really important. Yes. And if you get that, if you nail it pretty good, the rest of the work just takes care of itself. Another thing, uh, when we started with New York, one of the very first conference calls, you guys were concerned, being as you are from New York, that getting consensus might be hard. You might, guys, you might be fighting. That's never been a problem. You can always come to consensus, and you should. You know, you, exactly you need right. to all agree on what this says because you need to be able to support it. So getting that support is not that hard, uh, and it needs to be done. Um, another thing, everybody needs to know their role um. and what what to expect, and I keep relearning that over and over. You know, there's probably just so many conversations that need to happen at the beginning of the project that make getting to that first draft easy. How about fear? Is there headwind? Uh, and we had a little headwind in New York that there were some superintendents uh, throughout the state that were afraid, oh, what happens if this becomes law? Or, boy, is this going to cost me more money? Uh, you know, smaller operations that might say, well, you know, I got to build a wash pad. Uh, right. Are you going to make me build a lot? I mean, build a, a more expensive storage thing. I don't have that kind of money. Is there headwind? Were, there, was there, there any headwind bit, in these sure, projects? Yes, I think there is, and I've actually adopted what you said when I talked to people. Okay. You know, I'm always hit him in to... the head with a two by four. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that was it. One of the things is that we write about the best management practice, which is not the only management practice. There can sure. be grades. You know, there's right. there's best, and then there's good. Right. And so you can take a principle and apply it to that situation, That's to right. meet the budget, That's to right. meet the staff, and all That's of right. that. It, it isn't set in stone. We try and write those best management practices statements so it is adaptable right. to a golf course of any budget. Right. And the science is evolving. What's yeah. best now might not be best in a while, and that's why we made the choice to go to the web-based approach, and we've already had to make uh, some adjustments to that's it. True. I like how you talk about you don't have to be the gold standard the minute this thing gets done. It is a process, and that is what we're seeing in New York. Just a reminder to everybody, <laughs> this is the beginning of it. Right. Getting the template done, going through the process that you've done with these two states, in my opinion, is the beginning of the process. So the fact that everybody's uh, at least got consensus is good, but doing it perfectly from the get-go, I don't think that's a realistic that's expectation. Realistic, no. no. And do you find that people are saying, oh, I'm, I'm tentative about it because I'm not doing bit, it as good right, as I should yeah, be? Yeah, I do, I do feel that they are, but then you just have to keep explaining, you know, this is, uh, there's a, a system, there, there's a process in place, you know, do what you can to meet those principles. So, for example, any golf course, regardless of the budget, can take their mowers and use an air compressor and blow off clippings. That's exactly Any golf right. course can do that. That's going to take care of a lot of nitrogen and phosphorus in yes. the wash water. And that's achievable by anybody. They don't need to have a $100,000 you know, wastewater recycling system when they can take an air compressor and blow off that clipping. Yes, I think it is important to, to remove the mystique that some of these things could be things they're doing already. Right. They may be There's using a... soil moisture meters. They may be auditing their irrigation system. Those are what we consider to be the best practices. There's no reason to think that they're not doing many of them. And I think we found that. Did you see that in these templates? Yes, all that information's there. And there's, you know, yes, you should check your irrigation system, and if you can, get a professional audit at least every five years. Now, that might not be achievable, but mm -hmm. you can 
try and have whatever irrigation system you have, try and make it as efficient as possible. And we're going to have you back talking about working with a consultant back on the GCSA TV Live, but you're going to be interested to know, we got a super dog video coming up <laughs> after our segment. Stacy Kingsbury great. of Kingsbury Consulting, thank you so much for joining. Good to see you again, <laughs> darling. And Thanks, oh, great chatting about the BMPs. Very important initiative for the industry. Thank you for joining us on GCSA TV Live in this segment. We'll be back in a little bit. I wonder if the stagecoach will be back or just have some horses come up and graze <laughs> on the grass. We'll feel just like home for the exactly. both of us. Thanks a lot. Exactly. We'll be back in a minute.